been a while welcome back to another video so today i'm going to be making um cornmeal pudding and uh, i'm going to do it my way maybe you can try it my way or maybe you can stick to the original um way but the ingredients that i'll be using i have some cornmeal here some plain flour brown and white sugar I have a mixture of spices here I will put what I have in the description box and the amount I have some coconut milk here butter rum wine some rose and almond some rose vanilla or vanilla um, berry and of course I have a cup of water I am going to be using salt also in this mixture so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to cook the cornmeal what you normally see is like persons will just mix everything together and then put it in the oven so to reduce that like, baking time i'm going to start the pudding on the stove top by cooking the cornmeal and the first thing i'm going to do is to add the coconut to the pot so let's get to that all right so over a low to medium heat i have just a piece of cinnamon stick there and I'm going to add some coconut milk to this to the coconut milk I'm going to add wine rum and the salt and the butter So I'm going to bring this to a simmer, ensure that the butter is melted and then I will start prepping the dry ingredients while this is simmering. You have to ensure that all the ingredients are properly blended in this. Alright, so for preparation of the dry ingredients in a large bowl, I have cornmeal here and I chose to use the fine grain cornmeal to give the pudding a better texture. I'm adding some flour to this. All the ingredients, I'm going to put the amount that I use in the description box. I'm adding some granulated sugar and some brown sugar. The brown sugar is for additional sweetness and moisture. I'm adding all the spices and I'm going to be combining this with a whisk. I'm just trying to remove some of the lumps from now so to this I'm adding water because if you add the cornmeal to the milk like that it will start lumping so you want to dissolve the cornmeal first in some water just to get the lumps out or to reduce lumping because you want to smooth at the end of the, the day so I'm going to keep on mixing this and once the mixture is suitable then I will add the other ingredients to this so I'm adding the vanilla to this now and I'm going to be adding the rose and almond to it and I will combine you have to ensure that your mixture is properly flavored once I'm satisfied with the consistency of the mixture, then I'm going to add it to the coconut milk that is coming together on the fire. Before adding it to the coconut milk, of course, I'm going to remove the piece of cinnamon stick that is in there because you don't want any lump in your pudding. So I'm just doing this, combining it, ensure that I get all the flavors in. Alright, so I'm satisfied with what the 
coconut mixture looks like so I'm adding the cornmeal to this and when you add the cornmeal you have to ensure that you start mixing it as soon as possible or else it's gonna be very lumpy so you're gonna have to be mixing 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 until it becomes thick so what I did was just change the burner because I was using like a bigger burner so I I have it on a small burner now where I can control the flame better so I'm going to be mixing this and you have to ensure that you get into the corners because the corner of this will basically be lumping and you have to scrape the bottom so that you ensure that you get everything you're gonna cook this for about 12 to 15 minutes because you want to ensure that you know so they can meal like cook reduce the cooking time and it really tastes good this way what I forget to do was to mention that I was going to be using raisin in this but when I'm adding it you will see all right so I'm going to be adding the raisin and some additional wine and rum to this and I'm mixing this together so if you notice that it's it's thick because you don't want it to have this porridge consistency my oven is already preheating and my baking tin is greased and ready um, to receive the mixture so I'm gonna just continue doing this until the wine and the raisin is properly incorporated in the mixture all right so I'm pouring my mixture now I'm going to knock the pan just a little bit to remove any air pockets that is in there. So that is what it looks like and I'm going to be putting this in the oven. I'm gonna make a custard for the top so I have some coconut milk left and I'm going to use some sugar and some vanilla to make the custard and some butter to make the custard all right guys so the pudding has been in the oven for 40 minutes I made the custard this is really just some coconut milk sugar butter and some vanilla so this is it so I'm just gonna spoon this over the top just to keep the pudding moist and I'm going to put it back in the oven for another 15 minutes and then I will check on it again to see if it is ready so I'm just gonna be spooning this as you can see spreading it all over Alright guys, so I'm going to be putting this back in the oven now. Alright guys, so this is my pudding. It is done. And as you can see, it looks moist. I can't wait to taste it, but I have to wait until it's cool. I have a few cracks in it. The oven was turned up a little bit too much. But, you know, these cracks are forgiving. But this is the cornmeal pudding. Once I cut it. I will let you have a look at the texture all right guys so this is the pudding it is cooled and it looks delicious so as you can see the reasons are there my cherry fell off I don't have any whipped cream at this moment so no fancy frosting but look at the texture it is not hard it is not too soft it is just right an even distribution of raisin and the top is moist as you can see it's not like really wet wet but it's really moist so I'm just gonna give it the first taste right now 
which is not sweet too sweet it's not fresh it's just like really nice so i hope you enjoy this video and if you like to see more video don't forget to subscribe share and of course um give it a thumbs up you can also leave a comment um and as i said i will leave the ingredients and the amount in the description box thanks for watching